is up guys, Better Reality here. So today we're in Elland and we're gonna be doing the abandoned mink farm. It looks fucking crazy. Nobody really knows about this place. It's in the middle of nowhere. Like, I'm in farms, I'm just, there's nothing here apart from mink farms, I kind of guess. But I'm with Urban Isolation, so I hope you guys enjoy what's coming. Do like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the abandoned mink farm. Adventure time, right. So it's rows and rows of mink stuff. I don't really know what to say. It looks cracking crazy though. And there's some, also some other buildings and other... Ow, ow, the, ow that was sharp. Fucking sharp. <clears throat> it's like a full on nature walk today. I don't even, I don't even have the energy to go through shit today. Like. What? Oh, it's brambles and stuff, but I'm just like, it's like really sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get to this. Ow. And we are here. Like, this is in the middle of nowhere, it's great. It's actually crazy. I'm hoping, it's really overground though, I'm hoping that this is gonna be a good day. It looks pretty good. We're on that side of the bramble. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, yeah, most of it's like overground, so I just have to see how it goes. Warning guard dogs, of course. I think that's for the old minks. Look at this place, man. Can't wait to find the older buildings. Ah, oh, I wonder if it's still got any of the cages. I think it's gonna make some nice photos though. So look, so all the cages were literally stacked up, going all the way down, just full of mink. I hope we do find some cages though. Oh, yeah, this is one of them. One of the cages. Yeah. Oh, the little thing. Ah. So this place, if you guys don't know, in Elland, has been abandoned for 18 years. And good lord, I'm gonna go around that way first. <laughs> I kind of want something that's relatively easy to get down, but I don't think we're gonna get luck with that. It's gonna be pain and nothing. But you see, the thing about this place is though, and this is what makes this quite a good explore, it goes on. Like, it goes on. Look at this, man. And just think, there's thousands and thousands of mink that were harvested here for their fur. Trees are different as well. Oh, we can go down this one quite easy. Ow. So some of the caves are still standing. This is actually really awesome. I love explorers like this that are just random. Like full on. And just looking at how far it goes down as well is amazing. I wouldn't have liked to have been a, a mink though. So these are all like the leftover cage points. There's a stronger cage that's bent here as well. I wonder if any of the mink escaped actually. And literally just piles of cages. There's apparently some old buildings and signs and things as well. I can tell you now the decay is beautiful. I love full on pop decay. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere. Mink farm. I didn't even know this was here. I, I did some like serious research for this place and it's crazy that what you can dig up in your local area, uh, history wise, um, finding places. And like I said, I just, just to think that this was like a full on running farm and it's just pure history this. And that's what I love, love farms. Look at these trees. There could be some beautiful uh, pictures here. Oh wow! So these are the little gates, look. I really want to do, at some point, some of the old World War II places up in Germany. I honestly think that would be amazing. So those must have been the top of the cages then. And those were used as the hatches to get them in. Look at this. Do 
you see just like how far it stretches down. And it's literally just miles and miles of these overgrown, I mean, essentially sheds, but farm areas that lead on from each other. And I'm hoping that we find the main buildings uh, where the workers would have been as well. There's an active farm nearby, so <laughs> we're keeping a lookout for that as well. So that's how long just one of these are. Look how fucking overgrown it is. Uh, I'm not in the mood to climb over there. <laughs> so I'm going to brave the brambles for this because... <laughs> I want to go see what this is. Oh, we've got some nice stuff over here actually. Oh, wow! Look at this! Look at all these cages! They're just stacks and stacks of them! This is mental! Yo, James, come check this out! Ah, ah, that hurts! Like, full on fawns there. Jesus! So, I don't understand, like, why some of them have all. are just, like, full of the cages. And then someone just have nothing, you can walk all the way down. Whoa. I know, right? <laughs> it's like full on cage city down there. And you can see that now they're all, all separated. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what that shed is though. Looks like a storage bit. Oh, it's a water tank. Oh, an intact cage, I think. Or oh, a water tank. I want to go see, come on. Oh, uh, that one, over there. Yeah, I'm going to it. Point on the big one, yeah. Nah, nah. Oh, don't ruin my nose, Karen. I shouldn't. Oh, that might be another water tank, actually. Yeah. These trees, I love these trees, man. They're looking cool, aren't they? Oh, here you go, yeah, intact. Look at this. This is what we came to see. 18 years abandoned, and I know it's not a lot, but... Oh, that's cool. 18 years, this has just been stood here. One of branches is drawn around this. I know, I know. But they're all the way down and like, look at this! Mate! It might even be longer than 18 years. The tree! <laughs> the tree has grown through the fact What? <laughs> I'm through the roof as well. I know. That's crazy. It's like full on in there, isn't it? It's soft, it's a soft tree though. Feel it. It's actually really soft, it's weird. Oh no, it is weird. <laughs> I like the fact that we're going to be one of the few people that have done this. Oh yeah. Like number one, most people wouldn't travel out that far to go and find something like this. It's like full on nature fairs. It's crazy. <laughs> right, we're going straight through the middle because oh, some mushrooms. Eat one. <laughs> it's, the, it's the little things in life that get excited. Look at this place. The light's really good. We're going straight through the middle now. Because we want to see if there's actual the main buildings. It is just rows and rows of it. It's crazy. And more cages that just stretch on. It looks like it, but I can't. Yeah, I don't think it is. It would make sense for a building, wouldn't it? Well, you'd think it'd be maybe on the side. <laughs> like, because we're going full in here. This is no longer urban exploring. Oh, gloves. Look, let's, let's, so the mink will come here, look. Yeah. Oh, cool. Not a bit hairy about gloves, though. <laughs> I know, it's like the most random things, isn't it? What I don't get is at some point they've gone and dismantled it, right? Yet they've left it like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would you take the effort to dismantle it in this way? Uh, yeah. To then not clear it out and just leave it? Because it's clear the land's not obviously going to be used. Pretty though. Jamie, how much do you love mink? How much do I love mink? Yeah. Uh, a lot. See? He fucking loves mink.
<laughs> it's really nice how like the trees have ever grown for everything though. Yeah. It's like one of my favourite parts about this, you know. I wonder, they're all really weird trees though. It's weird actually. You see them like go up and sort of realise that's the roof and then turn. But, but it's grown, it's gone so, through it though, it's pushed through the metal. Oh yeah. That one's like grown out of the metal and then gone back in. I know. But it's, I think it's the type of tree that it is. Oh, come on, man. Why is all this bit overgrown over here? I can't tell if that's like actual building wood behind it or if it's some. Oh, oh, something else here, look. See those little houses? Little cages, look. Oh, mint cages. Oh, full on. That's awesome. That's what I mean. Like, you're finding such random stuff which is left. Which is crazy because they've got certain different cages. Could be transport cages. Nah, these can't be transport cages. Oh, maybe it was the pregnant ones. Who knows? It really could have been anything, couldn't it? It does look like the hook on front, though. Got little hooks there, aren't they? Well, they'd hook on something on here, shall Yeah, we? yeah. That's the only thing I can think because you've got barriers on each one. Yeah. And all the barriers go down. Ugh. Yeah, look, you've got more down here. Loads of them. Surprisingly, really well intact as well. Still got the sawdust in it. See, I like explorers like this though. Because it's, it's different, diff it? it's, it's different, it's not just urban urban. It's more like urban trees. It seems there's more stuff that way than yeah. there is in these parts. These parts like have the cages. And uh, stuff. I'm surprised still stuff's left here, to be fair. It's actually pretty crazy. Super bright, misty as well. You know, if that mist gets any bigger, like full on, that'll be quite interesting. What, so you literally can't see to end it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, as you're going through and just like surrounded by old cages. Got another one over here. So we're on the path now. So we wouldn't just come down here, but you can see how far it stretches on. Something there as well, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's square. Oh, that thing. Oh, I'm in the... <laughs> <coughs> it's a cage. Or an oven. It's an oven. <laughs> it is, it's a mini oven. I mean, I guess mink farms have to eat too. What, the mink? <laughs> what do you think happens here? Where does this go then? What's that? I mean, there's stuff down there. It stretches on for miles, man. Yeah, that's, that must be for transport then. Yeah, you got the old wheel. Oh. So today, guys, on the Bearded Reality Show, there's a big hole that goes actually underground. Does it go underground? What's this hole here? Ooh, I wonder if that's like a drainage thing. Look what down this way, you'll see, you'll kind of get a feel for how massive, like how big a scale this mink farm was. Because it just, it goes on. And because we're looking for the actual buildings at the moment. These ones are really overgrown. Like it keeps, wow, <laughs> mate. Look at this. I'm loving the green greenery. My jeans are gonna, I'm gonna go for that later. My jeans are like fucked. It's just, it's insane how big, like how, how many there is. I think I see a building. That or a wall, I see a wall. I wonder if we can get even around that way. So, we're, okay. we're at this like random 
part now. We just want to show you the view uh, from where we are, overlooking Elland. Jesus Christ, we're like pretty high up at the moment. You can see like the distance that we're actually really having to travel. That's crazy. I'm going to see if we can zoom in on the people down there. You so see them? The scale on them. Well, like we're full on up here. Amazing. Right, I'm at six times zoom now on that little tiny black dot in the middle. Mine of the goes to 100 times zoom and it doesn't, you can't see that, it's just pixels. So it started to rain. We're being attacked by brambles and major bushes. Ah. <laughs> like these, these things here. I mean, to be fair, it needed a rain. I think, did you look at that thing at the back though? I think I see some. I mean, it's a nice day. It's a rock formation, boy. It's weird how it all changes now. Yeah. Yeah, here look. That's something different, that. This is the path for it. I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Looks like somebody's ridden a bike around here at some point. Is it just a fence? Nah, that's a fence then. I want to go down that way. It's like looking for these bloody bunkers again. Now you're going to see like exactly how many we walk past. <clears throat> Look at this. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to find any outbuildings? It's looking likely. What's that? Is that a truck? Is that a truck? A skip? A truck? I don't know. Oh, it's a skip. Oh, yeah, skips. Oh, I wonder what's in them. Oh, there's some cages and things, look. And beers. There we go. It's got to be something over here, because look, you've got the old fence here. So overground there. There's a pot down here now though. Hmm. I mean I'm happy with this one. Buildings. Yeah. So you found the land there. Bit of rubble over there looks so. Oh, hello. Let's have a look. Uh, we might come across something down here then. Yeah. More imagination than in reality. Hey look my name. Snow it juiced. Right, so at the moment we're struggling finding any remains of a building. Um, which is a shame. We're just gonna take it one more look and then get some shots. Still a great explorer though, it's definitely a history to this place. Something completely different, you don't... I mean, whoever's... who goes to an abandoned mink farm? I don't even know of any of abandoned mink farms. You'd think there'd be something just left though. Like an old building. Unless they're just so overgrown, because look at this, like, they've got the skips here. It's just a bit weird. So, we're going to be wrapping up now in the area. We just came across this entire intact section, and it's pretty mint to be fair. Like, we've even still got the, it's like a full on intact cage of all the stuff in. Those little round holes is where the mint go though. So maybe what they used to do is place that on the front with the hole. Yeah. So it would go through and that's how, so that, that would have been used as transport to get them into the cage. Surely. Yeah, that's yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not done anything like this um, before, so it's definitely a new one. I can guarantee, apart from me in urban isolation, nobody else will have filmed this. So, you need to watch us, guys. That's been ripped right out, isn't it? Yeah. Again, more intact. I like. I'm loving the trees, though. Like fuck me. Like every single tree is just growing through everything. Yeah, and it's a tree. 
But yeah, unfortunately no buildings left. Like, apart from the the mink buildings, but still an amazing explore. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video though. Do like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like everybody, let me know what you guys think of the video, what you guys, you know, enjoy about my content, uh, where I can improve, anything. I enjoy interacting with you guys. Do like and share and peace. I'm out.